Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to make pizza on the barbecue. And since I'm using my no knead dough, it's a little bit too soft to hand toss, so I'm typically going to make pizza with no knead dough in the grandma pie fashion, which is in a pan. And since most of my pans for pizza are too large to put on the barbecue, I found these aluminum pans at the store. Um, they're just disposable aluminum pans that are made for pizza, so I figured I'd give these a shot and they worked out really, really great. You know, one of the things you want to do first is to get your diced tomatoes and drain them in a uh, sieve over here, or colander, to get all the excess moisture out. I'm using organic diced tomatoes here because the tomatoes that I'm growing are not ripe yet, but when they are ripe, I would take them and slice them and put them on top of the pie instead. So I'm putting my breadstone on top of my barbecue and I'm firing it up, getting it real hot, preheating that stone real good. You can see I get my barbecue pretty close to 600 degrees um, on the uh, gas barbecue. Now please refer to my other recipe on YouTube. Uh, and on my blog for no need pizza dough and that's what I'm going to be using here today. That dough works really really great in this application. So first I'm going to chop up some garlic, three or more cloves, the more the merrier. And remember I have my tomatoes straining. Um, get those ready next to your pizza making station get yourself some shredded mozzarella or you could also get the fresh mozzarella and slice it. You might also if you choose to get some parmesan and sprinkle that on top as well. Alright so get all those things ready let's get started. First I'm going to take my pan and put a little bit of oil at the bottom of the pan. Now I'm doing this in the same manner that I would be making a grandma pizza. We put oil in the bottom of the pan and what it does is it basically fries the bottom of the dough. Um, it's a typical way that a grandma pizza is made and because we're using no knead dough, uh, it's a lot easier to do this than to hand toss it. And then we're going to get our dough ready. This is from my other video on how to make no knead pizza dough. And what I've done is I've put it in a round container to make it have a round shape. And I uh, put a little olive oil on the bottom of that as well. So what I'll do is I'll take it out and throw it onto my pan and uh, let it rest a little bit and work it a little bit and let it rest a little bit until I'm able to push it all the way to the ends of the pan. Try not to overwork it. And then I'll put my garlic, a little bit of olive oil and whatever toppings. Here I'm using sausage and then I'll evenly distribute my tomatoes that have been draining across the top. Now if I were using fresh sliced tomatoes I would put those down with the garlic first before putting the sausage or whatever other toppings on top of that. Starting to look good already huh? Alright now I would put a little parmesan down first and then uh, cover with some mozzarella over the top of the uh, pizza. It's like you see here, not too much. And one of the things I also like to do on my pies is throw a little bit of uh, basil across the top. I love basil, it's absolutely delicious. But you could also add other herbs as well if you like on your pizza. Uh, things like oregano and, um, you know, grind a little bit of sea salt on top. It absolutely looks delicious. And it's time to throw that on our preheated pizza stone that's on the barbecue. Um, during the cooking process, I'm going to turn it a couple of times, but I'm going to try to do that quickly so I could preserve some of the heat that is in the barbecue and close the top as quick as I can to uh, keep the pizza cooking, baking at a consistent temperature. Now I like to keep the stone, the heat under the stone hot because I like a crispy bottom to my crust. Um, but it's your choice. I keep it nice and hot underneath. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, again, turning it evenly, you'll get a nice even cooking 
across the pie and it's absolutely delicious. Let me sure you eat it hot. But definitely wait just a few minutes before cutting it. Let it, you know, solidify a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this delicious pizza. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.